Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dice Crafty Corner. My name is Diane, and today I'm going to share with you just a very small D stash haul, a very small haul, and some happy mail that I received. Um, I'm really late at showing this because most of this stuff came in the beginning of the week, and today is Saturday. Happy Saturday, guys. I'm having my coffee and doing this little video and then I'll be doing a couple of videos late this afternoon as well including the um, the envelope share that we're going to be doing I'll be drawing those names this evening as well so stay tuned that video will go up before I go to bed tonight as well um, we had so many people <laughs> so many people want to be a part of that so I've got I've got two envelopes ready to go. I've got a green one and a pink one ready to go. We're going to start off with the first 10 this week. And then um, in two weeks, we're going to send, we're going to do the second group of 10 people. And that'll be the pink envelope. And so, yeah, so I think that'll be a lot of fun. But I'll do all the explanations and rules and everything in the video that I upload this evening. So today I just wanted to come on and share this stuff. And then I'm on my way to the lazy river that's where I'm gonna go for a few hours I have no children today I have no husband today and I am going to go enjoy myself for a few hours so that's my plan okay so let's get with this the first thing I want to talk about is something that I am beyond excited to have I am so excited a few years ago I kept seeing all these cute images for these dinosaurs. I kept these the, this same dinosaur in all different versions kept popping up on Instagram and different places, but I could never find the company that made them. For some reason, nobody ever listed the name of the company. So, I saw where um Corin, here's her card by the way. She sent me her little card. I think I just spit on her card. Ugh, how nasty. This is her little card. I saw where Corin Whiskman was having a de-stash um, last week or the beginning of the week, I think, and these little guys were in there, and I was like, oh, me please, me please, couldn't wait. The biggest reason why I couldn't wait is because you guys know I do this book for Christian, this a story book. We actually have story time every nap time. Now, he doesn't have a set nap time with me. He usually just comes to me and says, night, night now, and we curdle up, we curdle up, <laughs> We cuddle up and I tell him a story. Now the story is not, I don't have the book open. It's, the story is in my head and it changes every day or every, every day that he's here. But the story is all about Prince Christian because that's his actual name and grandma who has no name who wander the grounds in the enchanted castle where Christian lives. Okay. And we come across all kinds of animals and things that we do during the day. But there's a lot of dragons in our story. I don't know why, just because there are. There's always a lot of dragons in those happily ever after castle stories, I guess. So I've incorporated a lot of castle and a lot of um, dragon adventures. So there's where the dragons come from. I just wanted to tell you guys that. So she had these stamps and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have them. So I was so super excited. I got them as soon as I opened the package. It took me a few days because I was so busy. I started coloring and then I haven't touched it since because, you know, busy. But aren't they adorable, guys? Look at them. I am so in love. So if you also don't know who makes these because they are still being made, it is the High Hopes Rubber Stamp Company. High Hopes Rubber Stamps. So I went on their website and looked, and they have 40 dragons. 40 different dragons. I am beyond excited. Beyond excited. So here is the little one. It's Super Dragon, and he's still on there. Um, I also got, I've already, actually already done these and cut them out because I just wanted to see how the brother skin and cut would cut them out which it did fabulous um, this one I have these they're in these she sent them in these little things but I that she sent me a couple of um, sentiments as well so you're true you're technorific which can go with this little robot who is super stinking cute isn't he adorable and then this is a saying from um, Dr. Seuss, 
If you have brains in your head and feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Isn't that fantastic? I love that. So that's amazing. Um, and then this one is, let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy day. And that goes perfect with this little guy right here. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> Willard Weather Ant. Willard the Weather Ant. Isn't he adorable? So that was pretty amazing. And then, of course, I got the little Stampendous. Um, it's a birthday boy, and he's adorable. And I, like I said, I've already got him stamped out and cut out and ready to color because that's what I do when I get a stamp. And here's the little um, robot. Isn't he adorable? I have quite a few robots, too. Um, I have quite a few robots because the robots are in the story as well because they're visiting us from another land. And so I've, I've incorporated a couple of the Lawn Bond robots in our storybook as well. Super cute. And then here are all the little dragons. She put them in the little um, Sizzix papers right there. So there's the one with the this one right here. And then she sent in a, a little flower. Just one little flower. And then here's the dragon in the box right here. And the dragon with the marshmallow. Super, super, super cute. So that was exciting. So that was was that was my um, little D-stash from Corin. So thank you, Corin, very much for that. You have made me a very, very happy girl. And then on the D-stash page, the Dighty Dye's, um, Dighty Dye Crafty Corner D-stash page, um, I picked up this little leaf from um, Josh, jo Josmary, Josmary, I believe was her name. And um, she had that up there. This was actually on my list of things to pick up um, many times in my cart. And then I just never got it for whatever the reason. But you guys know I love to do paper piecing on my flowers. And you can paper piece this leaf. It's super, super pretty. And she had actually ordered two of them. And then was just de-stashing one of them. So I was very happy to add that to my collection. Um, this was also in the bundle from Cor Corin. Why do I keep wanting not to say her name right? It is Corin. I think it's just my accent. It's K-O-R-E-N, Corin. And it's um, two different ones. Uh, they're made by Stampin' Up! And it's stars and hearts. So I'm super excited to have that as well. I have a couple of stars and heart ones already, but they're um, not as uniform. Like, I really like how these have the corner pieces here where you can kind of see it kind of comes specific for the corner and it's the same thing with the heart so I'm excited for that and then I placed a very small order with um, clearly besotted they had some new items um, came in this really pretty little pink bag super cute right don't you love when you get a pink bag and um, I ordered two of the flower sets from there. I wanted them all. I was very good. In fact, I've been very good with all my purchases later. I've been trying very, very hard, you know, not to order too much just to get what I want. Um, I really want all of their flowers, though. I'm just going to put it out there. But I only purchased the two. So I got this one because I really like this center portion of this flower. I really like it and I think it's going to bring so much dimension to whatever card I put it on so I got this one and this one is called on your day I'm not sure what the flower is and it has this um, to a special couple on your wedding I don't have that sentiment yet so that was just a bonus but I didn't get it for this I only got it for that flower right there and I also like the little berry stem right here on the side so I really did purchase it just for this flower right here but that's a nice sentiment as well. And then this one is like, oh my goodness, guys, for corners. And um, again, I don't know. You're one in a million. You're the best. Miss you and good luck. I might do the you're one in the million, but I have lots of other sentiments that I adore, that I really love, that I would put in here. But to have a corner piece like this that you don't have to stamp out yourself is fantastic. And I really love the way it looked. I love the roses and both of them. I just thought they were beautiful. And I like the mixture of the flowers and the leaves. So super, super nice. So I did pick up those two. And those are the only two out of the like 10 that I wanted. So I did good. And then I had a package from Amazon. Now my first instinct, and I got this earlier in the week, by the way. 
when I got this package from Amazon, I threw it on my desk along with some other stuff, and I'm like, oh, great, what did I order now? I didn't want to order anything from Amazon. I'm like, I'm trying to be super good, and I was like, I don't know what I did, but I'm sure it was a 4 o'clock in the morning purchase. I'll deal with it another day, right? So when I came in here the other night, just a couple of nights ago, and I opened everything, this was actually a gift. This was Happy Mail. This was from Elaine Max. I follow her everywhere. <laughs> everywhere she is, I follow her. Um, she is a fantastic lady here on YouTube and on Instagram. She is always so very nice to me on all my social media sites. Her YouTube channel is Max and Soji, I believe. Max and Soji, if I'm correct. And she sent me a really nice little note with it. I stuck it in here somewhere. Hold on, let's see if it falls out. Because I want to show you this. I am beyond excited to have this. Didn't even know it existed. So there you go. So the little note says, when I find it, I will tell you. Um, Hi, Diane. Enjoy your gift. You share so much. And the minute I saw this, I thought of you. Have fun and enjoy. From Elaine, Max and Soji. That is her name, so Max and Soji. This is a watercolor book. It's a watercolor foiled book. Wait till you guys see this. Oh my goodness. So it's on watercolor paper and it's foiled. And there are all different pages. I'm going to do a flip through because guys, I, oh, I am in love. And at first I was like, when I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can frame some of these. It's going to be beautiful. And then I got kind of sad and I'm like, oh, but I would love to make a card. I'd hate to cut it up. And you know, I was just like, like, oh my goodness. Well, at least there's a couple of pages of each one. Look at that one, guys. Ah, how gorgeous is that? And it's on really good watercolor paper. Look at that one. <gasps> so these are all the silver foil. There's some goat. Look at that one. Ah, you see the shine? Isn't it gorgeous? Ah, I love it. I absolutely love this one too. Love it. Look at that one. So pretty. Even if you never watercolored it. But I'm going to watercolor them. Oh, I skipped one. Look at that one. Perfect place for you to practice your hand lettering, which I'm going to do. That's going to be gorgeous. I cannot wait. I would do it this way. That would be the way I would do it. Long ways, I think. So pretty. I cannot wait. Look at that one. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? that one so all of those are in silver but wait <laughs> there's also gold can you guys see that i wonder let me move this lamp over here hold on guys i want you to really see that gold i don't know if this is going to work but maybe i don't want to spill the coffee on it though let's move that out of the way that's a disaster waiting to happen all right now can you see look <gasps> Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Super pretty. All right, so there's two of those. I like that there are two of some of them because that way if I do cut one up for a card, <laughs> I don't feel so guilty. Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. And there's another one of that one. I absolutely love the texture in this flower right here. I love it. And look at that one. How amazing is that? And you know, I can't I can't figure out which of the two, gold or silver, I like the best. I really can't. Look at that one. Again, for the lettering. Put your little message in there. And for, I'm going to tell you what. You're going to see my office full of framed items. I can tell you already. Isn't that pretty? Again, I love the texture in these flowers. And then here's where I got so excited. Look, postcards. Can you can you even believe it? Postcards. I am so excited. So on the front you get your stamp and then you, where you would put your addresses and look at the detail and look how shiny. Even if you didn't watercolor it, look how gorgeous that is. But I'm going to watercolor it. Look at that one. I'm so excited. And then there are tags. 
Aren't they beautiful? These, some, some of these are just amazing. Amazing. They're just amazing. Bookmarks. Aren't they great? And then that's it. So can you, so if you guys haven't already seen this, it is the Christine Aldolf, Adolf, Adolf, um, foil watercolor, 24 pages, it's 8 by 10, and it is amazing. It's made by Prima, and when I look, there's actually a couple of these um, that are made by Prima that are the watercolor kind of books. So if you're interested, you can go find it on Amazon. I will leave a link below. If I, I will leave a link below. I'm sure I can find it because I've already found it. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. And Elaine, thank you so very much. I was so super excited to get this after I wasn't worried that I had done something stupid on Amazon again. But, you know, that's just me. I want to thank you guys so, so much for all you do here on YouTube. I appreciate all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you this afternoon after a little fun in the sun. Have a great day. Bye.